Eric, Nana Visitor here. I am appearing to you on some device in your home or maybe your place of work because your wonderful husband, look, I may have been encouraged to say that, but I happen to believe it's probably really true. Look, he sees you watching Deep Space Nine most nights. He knows you love Star Trek. He sought me out to say happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Eric. Happy birthday to you. If you hear a weird noise, don't be alarmed. It's just my bird. He likes to sit with me while I do this, but he does these weird like sounds. Yeah, just like that. Anyway, back to you. This is an honor for me to be able to know just a little bit about yours and David's life that you watch the show, that the show means something to you. It meant so much to me. And recently someone told me something about a show that I watch every night and they had guessed it on the show. And, um, they said that the cast was mean, really mean, and that he hated guesting on the show. And that affected the show for me. I have to say, I didn't like knowing that. And I'm here to assure you, uh, we weren't like that. We, I still talk to just about everyone who's still here. Um, at least once a week. I, that, that show was a village and we were all tight and we all cared so much about the quality of it. Um, we brought our best to it and I think it shows it's lasted. I, there's not a day that goes by that I don't say Star Trek Deep Space Nine. It's kind of incredible, right? And when I left that set 20 odd years ago, it may be yeah, 20 odd years ago, I never thought that I would be having this, well, I couldn't have known, this all didn't exist for me, but that I would have this relationship with people from all over, brought together because of this show. I couldn't be more thrilled with that outcome. And I'm thrilled that David asked me to help celebrate this birthday with you. I hope it's a wonderful one. And I'm going to give you, here it comes, I can't help it, little mama nana advice. This year, I want you to cultivate the things that you love about yourself. Bring them out, look at them, think about them, and cultivate them even more. Give them time and attention to help them grow. And the things that you don't like so much about yourself, deeply forgive yourself for. Deeply. There are some things that we don't like about ourselves that are some of the most successful parts of ourselves or they're bits of ourselves that helped us, that were a tool we used in the past. So those things we can say, thank you. Thank you for getting me through my teens, or thank you for getting me through my childhood. Don't need you anymore, but you're still around. That's what I wish for you this birthday. And I'm sending both of you lots and lots of love.